This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was released on August 7, 2023. Ignore the hornet's nest being stirred, God is clearing the way. In a dream the other night, I was sitting with the Lord, and in front of me, I could see the horizon, except that there was this thick layer of fog that was in front of me that was stopping me from being able to see ahead. And the Lord said to me, It is now time for the scales to be removed from your eyes and from your heart and from your soul. And this is an hour that I am clearing out every bit of debris and every blockage and every hindrance to you, seeing clearly the road ahead that I have for you. He said, This is an hour that I am giving you fresh vision. This is an hour that I'm giving you eyes to see the future that I have planned for you. The future that the enemy has tried to stop you from seeing, the future that the enemy has wanted you disconnected from so that you would lose hope and that you would crumble on the battlefield that you were in so that you would give up in the middle of what looks like a wilderness, but it's only moments and steps away from fruitfulness and advancing. And this is an hour, says the Lord, I'm giving you back your joy. I'm giving you back your hope and I'm giving you back your ability to connect with my vision again for your life, for the enemy has tried to keep you in a place of limitation. He's tried to keep you in a place of continual warfare and contending without seeing any fruit, but I am going to reconnect you again with the very manifestation of my presence. My power is going to break through every obstacle like a hammer breaks rocks into pieces. I'm going to break through every single hindrance that has been at your feet, says the Lord. Confronting the enemy in your life and this is an hour, says the Lord, that I'm going to confront the areas that the enemy has been trying to keep you tangled and imprisoned. This is an hour, says the Lord, that I'm coming after the areas that have been trying to keep your heart encased in hard rock, but right now I'm turning hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. Again, this is an hour that I'm removing the casings of disappointment and discouragement and despondency. This is an hour that I'm coming against disbelief that has come and settled. This is an hour that I'm coming to break apathy and complacency, and I'm going to cause your heart to come alive again so that you will be in sync with my vision for your life. The very attack that has come against your soul is right now being judged, for I've seen the dark night that you've been in, and now the court is in session. I've seen that the night has gone on for a very, very long time without any ability to see the new sunrise or the new day dawning. But this is an hour that I am coming to bring life to your soul again. And I'm breaking through the trauma of even many decades that you did not know that you were even living in. This is an hour. I'm coming against the very things that have kept your feet concreted to disappointment and concreted to the old wineskin, the old mentalities, the old methods and old ways. The new day is dawning and I'm confronting those things for you, for you would say, my best days were in that old season, for you would say, my best days have already been passed, but I would say to you that right now, I'm setting you up for such a glorious chapter that you did not even see coming. Right now, in the surrender to the new thing, in the discomfort and the pressing into the pain, I'm going to reveal my glory through your life in a way that you won't be able to comprehend. I'm delivering you from so many areas of your own strength and the places where you've been running and hustling, but it has not been producing the fruit that you've been wanting to see. It is time for my spirit to come and to bring life to you. It's time for my spirit to come and to lead you into your best days and break you out of those limitations and man-made methods. Watch and see what I will do for the next two months, watch and see, as I pour out revelation as I open up the floodgates of heaven over your life, and I show you the plans and the future that I have for you, says the Lord. Watch in the two next two months, as involuntarily, your life gets taken over by revelation. Where there has been such a drought of revelation, where there's been such a brass heaven, you are now going to feel such a constant rush and a constant flow of language and themes and the things that I will show you for the future. For this is going to be a time where the tap of heaven is going to be turned on over your life. And I want you to pick up a pen, and I want you to write, and I want you to describe the things I give you, and I want you to let them take over your heart again. I want the revelation to hit against the areas of your heart that you've been shocked to realize that they have been shut off. And I want these words to come, and I want them to embed deep into your soul, 
and I want you to run with them. And then I want you to build with them. And then, right after this part of the dream, I looked ahead, and I could see the horizon was clear. And I looked out, and my heart just gasped in absolute awe at what I could see before me. It was like I could see the horizon free and clear, and I could feel a fresh joy coming out of my heart. Then the Lord kept speaking, New wine revelation can they see the new wine being poured out? Can they see that I am doing a new thing? Will they grab hold of it? Or will they stay in old manna? For I long for my church to lay down their systems and methods in this hour and receive what I am pouring out. I see the tiredness and the weariness trying to upkeep something that my spirit has moved on from, but how long will they keep trying? If they would only taste and see the new thing and choose to follow me in this unknown season, I would give them the ideas and new wine strategies that will bear fruit. But many have been more in love with their structures over my spirit, and they are missing out on what is right now gushing forth. I want to hand them a new manual, a new scroll, a new blueprint that will sustain them and lead them where I am going, but oh, it will take much surrender and the burning of idols. I want to show them where I am heading, will they look to the horizon? Will they lock eyes with me at all costs? The hornet's nest of distraction and swarming voices, but then, over towards the east, I saw a swarm of hornets filling the skies, and with it came a suffocating hopelessness and heaviness that were trying to yet again clog up the horizon. And the Lord said, This is what the attack of the enemy looks like in this hour. This is the assignment of the enemy at a time when I am pouring out fresh vision and fresh dreaming. This is the attack of the enemy to create a distraction. It's the swarm of words and slander sent to get them looking at the enemy and his incessant noise instead of what I am doing. It's sent to scatter and plant strife, slander, and restlessness in homes. It's sent to bring confusion, doubt, and double-mindedness over the vision I am releasing. It's sent to divide marriages, relationships, and people building together. It's sent to brood the spirit of madness and forfeit over the hearts of those finally getting free of the battle season. This hornet's nest was an assignment of the enemy to try to sting the people of God to try to sting the people of God through witchcraft and slander and a shout-out to discredit people that would just be getting back on their feet and stepping into a new day. This assignment was to come and to sting people, so it would shut them down. But this is an hour, says the Lord, where you must stand firm, you must stay undistracted from this assignment of the enemy. And then the Lord said to me, And this hornet's nest is an assignment of the enemy to get them caught up in all the things of the world, all the news reports, and all the different fear and propaganda going on in the world. But I am countering this swarm with peace and clarity that they will only find by running into my presence daily. I will protect their minds and keep them free of every entanglement. For right now, your eyes need to be marked, your eyes need to be clearly synced with my eyes. I'm giving you evil eyes. I'm giving you eyes to see beyond where you have been, you've been in the wilderness, you've been in a dark season of not being able to see, but now you will see beyond circumstances and beyond even this season. You will see how I see. So do not fall for these hornets' nests. Do not fall for the sudden fires and sudden calamities that show up in the world around you that the enemy is trying to get you caught up in. Do not fall for the fear-mongering of the world, do not fall for those things, but hold the vision that I'm giving you and run with it, and make it plain. An hour of deliverance for right now, I'm bringing deliverance to divided minds. I'm bringing deliverance to those who have been in two minds. For those who've been having one foot in the new door that I have for them and one foot in defeat and wanting to give up. Right now, I'm bringing deliverance to those who have been living in trauma, those who have been living in a place of continual breakdown on the inside, but at the same time, grabbing hold of the new thing I'm doing. And I say to you today, grab hold of what I have given you. Grab hold of the rope, grab hold of the lifeline that I've thrown you, and do not let go let it pull you out of the trauma, says the Lord, for the days coming are days of wholeness, the days coming are days of freedom, says the Lord. And right now, I'm breaking every trigger and cycle in your life. I'm coming against every area that has been causing you to be pressed, causing you to be triggered, 
and causing you to break down and be unable to run forward. Because the days are coming, says the Lord, where you will build the very vision that I gave you long ago, you will build the vision, not the vision other people handed you but the vision I gave you, the vision I handed you, the blueprint I handed you. I'm right now. I am decluttering you from every single hindrance, every single association that would cause you to backpedal and cause you to water down the vision I gave you. You're stepping into a new wineskin blueprint for your life, and you will not compromise that vision anymore, says the Lord. You are stepping over into power. You're stepping over into kingdom influence, and you're stepping over into such fruit and fulfillment. Get ready to begin to sign contracts. Get ready to begin to hold in your hands the very vision that you thought was passed over, the very prayers and the promises that you thought that I have forgotten about. The dreams that you thought you would never see again. Get ready to hold it in your hands for the time is coming, says the Lord, that I will fulfill every promise that I gave you. Here are some verses for this word. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 35 from the Amplified Bible Now I say this for your own benefit, not to restrict you, but to promote what is appropriate and secure undistracted devotion to the Lord. Mark 4 verses 18-19 from the Amplified Bible And others are the ones on whom seed was sown among the thorns, these are the ones who have heard the word. But the worries and cares of the world, the distractions of this age with its worldly pleasures, and the deceitfulness and the false security or glamour of wealth or fame, and the passionate desires for all the other things creep in and choke out the word, and it becomes unfruitful. Luke 5 verses 37 to 39 from the Message Bible No one cuts up a fine silk scarf to patch old work clothes, you want fabrics that match. And you don't put wine in old, cracked bottles, you get strong, clean bottles for your fresh vintage wine. And no one who has ever tasted fine aged wine prefers unaged wine. Luke 12 verses 35-38 to from the Message Bible Keep your shirts on, keep the lights on. Be like house servants waiting for their master to come back from his honeymoon awake and ready to open the door when he arrives and knocks. Lucky the servants whom the master finds on watch. He'll put on an apron, sit them at the table, and serve them a meal, sharing his wedding feast with them. It doesn't matter what time of the night he arrives, they're awake and so blessed. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co. Hi there. In this prophetic word, God wants you to be focused and single-minded. You will step into a new day where you will hold the very promise God gave you in your hands. You were in the dark. The enemy has kept you in the prison cycle of warfare and contending, where you were disconnected from God, with no fruit, no vision, and kept under the lid of limitation. But this hour, God is judging your enemies and delivering you. And as he does, the enemy has sent hornets of distractions so to stay focused. As the dawn comes, connect with his presence, catch all that heaven is pouring out in the next two months, accept your eagle eyes to see and write your vision, and step into kingdom power. So as you enter the new day, you will hold in your hands the fruitfulness and fulfillment of God's uncompromised vision for you. Are you sensing that this word is for you? Do you see the dawn coming? Have you been in a season of limitation contending on warfare? Are you surrounded by distractions at this hour? What little changes and shifts do you notice happening in your life now? Now take the time to decide do you want to partner with this word or not. The choice is yours and it's for you to decide. If you decide to partner with this word, you can express your faith through words and actions. Faith through words. Write down and speak out personalized prayers, decrees and declarations using the prophetic word and the verses you've gathered, faith through actions. In your scheduled time with the Lord, ask for eagle eyes to see His new vision for you, and make sure to document them. Again, just a reminder, prophetic words don't automatically happen. You have to fight for them and do your part as you partner with God. That's it for this video, and see you in the next one. Bye!